Hello everyone, Frank with Clean Carburetor. We're gonna show on how to test the ignition coil. In this video, this particular coil is from a uh, an outboard two-stroke two-cylinder um, 40 horsepower Mercury. Um, there are two two windings in every single ignition coil. There is so-called a primary winding, a primary resistance. It goes between the outside negative negative part of the, of the harness, which is the engine block, and the positive, and this positive does get the voltage from the power pack at the moment it has to start charging the coil and then it stops after the power pack sends the signal when to stop with that the current is being induced inside the coil and then another coil on the inside which is a secondary resistance is going to get charged and that is the coil that actually is going to discharge the spark on your spark plug when the engine needs to ignite. So with this um, we're going to check two different resistances. There are two coils here, they both should be the same. So the primary, it should be according to the book, it should be about 0.02 to 0.04. It all depends on the calibration of the meter. This is a, um, a multimeter with the order range. So just connect the, uh, the negative part to negative wires, poles that go to the block and then measure the, the resistance. So there is uh, plenty of resistance. Um, it usually floats a little bit in the beginning and then eventually stabilizes around 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 in this case. So this, this is good. So in other words, the, 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 the the primary resistance on this coil is good. Let's do the same thing on this on the second coil. So again, negative to positive. Yeah, this is a good resistance. It's right there around 0.5 again. So with this, uh, the primary resistances on both coils is good. Now, while you keep the negative lead of the ohmmeter on the on the black wires which connect to the block, which is the negative part of this system, put your probe on the inside of the coil where the um, where the cable goes into, and here we read. 0.959 kilo ohms, which is 959 ohms. Uh, the book here says 800 to 1100 ohms, so this is a good coil. Let's go to the left coil. So this one reads. Make sure you have a good contact here. 0 0.97, 972 ohms. It is between the spec of 800 1100 ohms. So with this, this both coils are good. And they can be put on the engine. This two red wires in here are just, this is the fuse for your electrical system if you did not know, if you did not know what it is. Uh, they put it in here because it's right in front of the power pack of the entire ignition system on the outboard. It's easy to change. It has nothing to do. It's not connected uh, to the ignition coils. 
when the ignition coils are removed like a, this one is. So there is no need to check this unless you want to check, make sure your fuse is good without pulling it out. You take a look, it's point one, two, three again, plenty of resistance. So yeah, the fuse is good. Well, that'll be all about the ignition coils. It's the same thing, you can check any ignition coils of any kind um, remember there is primary secondary windings the first one the primary should read very low ohmage where the high one well depends on the specs but it should be around 1000 uh, ohms so I think that's a rule of thumb uh, about 1000 on the secondary make sure you have a good contacts everywhere good luck with your ignition coils Thank you for watching, like us on YouTube, and subscribe to our channel. Clean Carburetor. This was Frank. Thank you. Bye.